Hey everybody, welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Last episode, we got really sick and gained new power as a result. Which begs the question, is it is it because we got sick we could connect to the Velvet Room or is it just a funny coincidence? I don't know. Every girl we knew also being at the cultural festival cleanup session, that was definitely a funny coincidence. That almost got us killed. Let's move on. We should probably not spend some time with our classmates and instead help out our comedy duo buddy. Yuki. Got the time, uh... Could we talk? Sure. I don't see you not to. Let's do it. And today's ramen's on me. You're good with ramen, right? Yeah, let's do ramen. I didn't, I didn't say yes. Well, we're going anyways. Hey, man. I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but... Oh? What happened? I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emi. What? So, this'll be the last time we have ramen together. You're moving away too? Kenji and Maiko? Come on. Emiri? Who's that she's with? Oh. Uh, no. I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. <laughs> He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. And now other students are. Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emiri. Dude. So I guess today was the day she was leaving. So much for that. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I. I. I don't, want to, I don't want to tell him I told you, so he's... <sighs> wait, what? Let me handle this? Don't worry. I know how to be a home wrecker. Oh, oh wait, what? I... It's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> Thanks, though, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thought that is what counts. It's not Emery's fault anyway. I screwed things up. It's okay, Kenji. Your hormones are making you purposely stupid. Not her. Oh, don't run off. What about the bowl? That's not the entrance to the ramen shop. Why, Emmy? Oh. Why? I don't. I can't even laugh at this, bro. It's okay, man. You're still young. <laughs> now my nose is running. <laughs> I'll just. I'll just tell people you ate some spicy food. It's chill. Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd. I got you. Tomochika's trying to tough out the pain. But, you know, Kenji, you, this would not have been a problem if you just... Yeah. Just date someone your age, god dang it! Let's go. Oh, you're not? You lost your appetite? Alright. No problem. I... I empathize. When you're young, you are dumb. And Kenji's really dumb. Oh, welcome back. But hey... He's also he's also young, so he can figure it out. You said that twelve times, Johnny Awesome. Okay, okay. Yuki san, do you think we could add Tartars tonight? There have been more cases lately, and I just want to be ready for anything. Yeah, that's not happening. I gotta think about my boy. My innocent boy, Tomochika. Oh, wow, rank nine, I just realized. A cheerful student with a thing for older women. Jesus. Makoto, how you doing, dude? Not great. That's about Kenji. What? Uh, seriously? Come on, man. You're young. Have some fun. Live a little. Potentially get a teacher fired because you misunderstood romance. You know. Excuse me. It is difficult to determine a shadow's strength. Particularly these last three. It'd be safer and more secure for us to prepare and train accordingly. Yeah, that's that is true. What are you going to do, though? What are you going to do? Right? It's you saying all that, but we only have three shadows left. Let's be them. Don't be any more lost. Just gotta give it our best. True. And with these new special fusions, I think we'll be in a good spot. Is that? The news has been reporting the loss of increasing. I wish we could receive some good news for once. I feel that. Seems like every day, things get worse and worse. Well, that's not true. That's just confirmation bias. The other day I saw Korachan eating something other than his usual dog food. 
Do you know who got it for him? Maybe someone made it. He looks so happy to eat it. Hmm. Was it you, big guy? I think I'll head to my room in a bit. If we're not going to Tartars. Hm. Don't mind me. I'm usually like this. Okay. And last but not least, my man. Got time? I'm chucking the planners. <sighs> if this keeps up, we'll be in good shape. If there are any crops that are bruised or misshapen, give them to me. What are you gonna do with them? They'll still taste fine. Nothing beats eating them freshly picked. Oh, right. Don't just leave the stems and roots laying around after harvesting the crops. What do I do with them, Shinji? Take them out and replace the soil right away. You can't replant anything until you do that. Okay, okay, I'll write that down. Got it. Am I gonna disagree? I'm glad you pick up on stuff so quickly. Less trouble that way. <laughs> well, you're such a good teacher. You're great to work with. Unlike a certain someone. He always brings our ego into this. God dang. You know, I only started this on a whim. But it's worth it every now and then. Even someone like me can... Well, let me put this. Growing something lets you see the result of your labor. You feel like you built it with your own hands. Yeah, it's living, breathing proof of your, you know, actions yielding results. Its life cycle ends once you eat it, though. Yeah, I guess that that's true. You don't get to look at it for long. It becomes substance, though. Oh, we solve the memories. Yeah, true. That's so damn cheesy. Oh come on! <laughs> People always say that to me. But you know, maybe you're right. People don't usually say that to me. <laughs> I thought I'd forgotten all about gardening as a kid. Even if someone disappears, maybe they can still leave something behind. Yeah. Oh god, I went there. Nothing. Just talking to myself. Yeah, let's 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 move on. Guess that ain't really like me. Aragaki seems to have realized something. Tending the garden. And right, we do get two of these. Okay, that's just stupid. <laughs> he gets a boost to all of his stats at the start of a battle. Okay. Ended up saying a little too much today. Break time's over. Let's get back to it. Not a bad one. So that means we have to do that with everyone? Alright. That just about does it. Not that I'm complaining. Thanks for your help. If you ever do this again, I'll join you. Time to head back. It's just good to know, like, hey, we can spend time drinking tea with Mitsuru and it actually does something for us. Good to know. Not to say it's not, not a pleasant time, but yeah. Dang, I wonder what everybody gets then. By the way. Is it just me or are there a lot more cases where people lose consciousness recently? Mm. It's all over the news again. The whole thing makes me so uncomfortable. What if it starts happening all over the world? What? Don't say stuff like that. Trying, trying my darndest too. As I'm getting older, I might. I can't go as high anymore. It, it sucks. Like all of my videos on the internet are recording. I only took down like a select few. Can't go that high anymore. Freaking sucks. Oh well. Could be the worst. Can't, you know, worst things we have. Do you think anyone suspects that I am a robot? Not possible. Understood. Then no need to adjust. Yeah, you're perfect with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she cracks me up in this game, though. Okay, so we do have... I thought about this. And this isn't, like, 100% concrete, but Hidetoshi never wants to hang out outside of school. He's a driven man on a mission. So at some point, we need to head to the shrine to get him to the next ring so we don't use too many spend time events. Something to keep in mind. So we might, like, kind of sandbag on Hitoshi for a bit. But today is the day. We already know we got the rank up. Kenji, you genuinely, you're not, you're not that bad of a guy. Like I reflected on it, you're a screwball, but being young's all about making mistakes, and that's why I learned from you. It's all good, bro. It's all good. I'm over my Kenji hate, but there is a girl at this school who likes you, and you need to pay attention to her. You dingus. What's up? Got nothing to do today. You're busy. Let's go get some ramen. Yeah, now that you know, you won't be moving away. Sure, we'll be able to hang out a lot more. All right. Let's go! I'm gonna get an extra large special bowl today. Oh, should I also order a rice bowl? Damn, you are hungry. 
Another day, another bowl of ramen. Despite its simple appearance, the soup has complex flavor that enhances my noodles. Ooh. Damn, this really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? <laughs> In his own way, I think he is finally relieved. You know, I maybe I wasn't that ready to grow up just yet. I mean, come on, leaving the city, leaving you, and this place? Nah. Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. Mm. I'm stealing your egg. Maybe she did. No, let's 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 distract him. Get that back. <laughs> Too late, sucker. <laughs> that egg's all I got in this world, man. <laughs> Hand it over or else. All right, fine. We chatted for a bit, and man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. I know he's right back at square one. You don't know when to give up. Want me to find you a girl? No, you got this. But definitely do not. Just trying to, like, you know, join a club, dude. Talk to them. Yeah, dude. And you can be my wingman. Ah. Uh, Let's go pick up some chips. Nah, I'm in enough clubs. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. But on top of that, I felt really dumb. <laughs> did I really love Emmy Re? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? Wow, that's surprisingly introspective, Tomo Chica. I thought about it a lot. Hmm. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is you're a true friend. Wow. That I felt that. Wait, are we are we, are we still talking about hmm, I don't wanna pick that. This is genuinely just a good moment. Let's not undercut it with a joke. Who am I kidding? I'm me! <laughs> Talking about the heart, dude. Don't you feel it? <laughs> Just shut up and feel it. All right, all right, I'll try. Mm -hmm. I don't feel none. Sorry. Anyway, here, take this. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. <laughs> Thanks. Your fashion sense is kind of, uh, so what? I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? I mean, we're wearing the same thing. I mean, our boots are kind of whack, I won't lie. It's a symbol of our friendship. Uh-huh. You and your penny loafers. But Tomochika told him, I'm his best friend? Wow. I feel honored. Now give me a strong persona. Come on, hurry up. Make a snappy. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the magician Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the magician within thyself. There it is. It was the first we met, but not the first we completed. At the end of the day, I don't know. I think I'll learn something new from Kenji. To not be a dingus. Wait, what? Futusunushi. The warrior god. I wouldn't necessarily classify him as a magician. What is Alice doing? Man, I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. Uh-huh. More eggs, please. Make it ten. You are go you're eating your feelings away. What is going on here? <sighs> Can't be too serious about our feelings in one day, can we, Kenji? But in a strange roundabout way, Kenji is a mildly annoying social link, yes. And did we enable him? And his delusions, yes. But sometimes I don't <laughs> Do you have to let your friends just run their course and learn their lesson? No. I think you'd be like, Kenji, you're being dumb. You're not in a relationship. But Persona didn't want to go down that route, and it does make an enjoyable story. If not a little messed up. If 
Sup, dude? You done yapping? All right! We'll be having another full moon session soon. Since your door is getting back here, I... I think I should start training again. Besides, those apathy freaks are popping up everywhere. Don't call them freaks! Junpei, they are victims! My god! <laughs> Maybe I should start doing a personalized training regimen like Sonata-san. Since your door is getting better, I better think I should start working harder. And working out. Oh, Junpei, your muscles! They're so... Uh... Round? Yeah! I wonder what a day aragaki sans life is like. Since we don't see him at school, he doesn't seem like he want to talk about it either. I know I'm just being nosy, but I can't help but be curious. Well, it doesn't hurt to ask him. How many am I hurt? What? You. <laughs> Whoa, buddy! You want to kill some time, go find Junpei or something. I only take orders in battle. Oh, the cold shoulder just like that. Man. Alright then. Let's hang. I rented a DVD. It's a foreign film about a hard-boiled detective. I have a little free time right now, so... Yeah, we'll do this. I really am, like, slacking all my intelligence boosting, but frankly, I don't care. We'll have time. Maybe. They recommended this at the store when I said I was looking for a movie with a cool, hard-boiled main character. Wait, why does this song sound so familiar? Oh, it's driving me crazy. What is this from? No, it's from another Atlas game. Oh, my God. But so far, he just seems like a reckless old man to me. Yeah, not really hard-boiled. We're like, let's F and die. He even fell for that woman's lies. Do people really think this guy is cool? Wait, are we are we watching? What are we watching? What is this a parody of? Hmm. Well, just, you know, give him a minute. Maybe, you know, maybe it's all part of his scheme. Oh, that's right. We are only halfway through the movie. <gasps> He's surrounded by gangsters again. Wait, what? No! Wow! He was so cool! He actually knew it was a lie the whole time, and he was just pretending to be tricked. See? See? Come on, Kenny. His signature phrase was so good, too. You can't be a detective without smarts, and you've got no right being a detective without a heart. Uh, yeah, that's a really cool slogan. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, my God. Oh. I feel like I gained some courage after watching how a man convic with conviction lives. And getting lied to... Some it's the only thing that really works in a movie setting, you know? <gasps> Looks like this movie is part of a series! Let's watch the other ones together when you have time. <laughs> I... God. He really never does emote, does he? This is something I noticed from, like, persona character to persona character. It's just always a nod with him. Freaking! Oh my God! Take your seats and we'll get. We'll begin. He fu me yo me fu na ka to. Oh my God! This is a math class normally. Yes. Well, Miss Fiahara is feeling under the weather, so I'll be filling in for her. Since you came expecting a math lesson, I'll be talking about numerology. Numerology is a type of magic which sees the world through a system of numbers. Essentially, its practitioners convert matter into numbers. Numbers have power, so numerologists merely take advantage of that number, or that power, should I say. Some say the first numerologist was Pythagoras. You may know him from Pythagoras' theorem, but he's also quite famous for practicing magic. He is? He and his pupils research what is now called Pythagoreanism. They realize that everything exists in this world corresponding to a number. They considered odd numbers masculine and even numbers feminine. The frick? They also work towards verifying the existence of holy and unholy numbers. The Pythagore wait, the Pythagoreans focus on the number one, two, three, and four, because they add up to ten, which represents completion. They consider those first four numbers to be holy numbers, and the most important of all. They're known as the Tetratics. So oh god. Later others would build upon the numerology foundation that Pythagoras figures laid. Even recently, studies have been performed on the relationship between names and numbers. Well, let's look at this a little closer, shall we? Let me teach you a method of interpreting your own name's meaning, including your middle name, too. Now convert each letter of your name into a number. One for A, two for B, and so on. How does this work in Japanese? You just do this romanji? I mean, 
Japanese also has to have an alphabet, I suppose. If a letter has two digits, like 14 for N, first add the two digits to make a single digit. Keep adding these digits until you down to a final number between 1 and 9. Upon learning on reflecting on that digit's properties, you can include the characteristics of the person in question. Yeah, right. Your number represents your general personality. So are you still listening? Oh, well, this talk of numbers doesn't put you to sleep. <laughs> Here's a test to see if you're paying attention. Get it wrong, the numbers will haunt you, even in your sleep. Okay, then. Yuki, I choose the... What is the collected name of four holy numbers? Okay, that is the Tetra for four. Easy. That's correct. The octurial tables predict a happy future for you. What? Not, are you going to teach us what that is? A bit more of numerology and names before you're dismissed. Numerology can also be used to discern your inner self, your public persona, your future, and so on. Convert the vowels in your name to numbers and add them. That reveals your inner self. Next, do the constant in your name to get the persona in your display in public. Using the same method of your birth date would calculate your future. Make sure you... Christian era dates in this calculation. It's also possible to assume your compatibility with another person using numerology. By adding the digits of your birthday to the others, you can. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> we don't have to answer these correctly anymore. They're freaking. It's just for bragging rights. Yeah. Anyway, I'm over it. Except I'm not. I'm still gonna try and answer them correctly, though. It's just, you know, it's part of the game, right? And it feels weird to, like, see Max. You know, we don't really check our computer all the time. What's up, Yuki? I'm feeling better, man. Hey, promise me you'll do whatever you want. Whenever you want, but you're still young, all right? <laughs> I'll always have your back, dude. Good lesson. Straight up good lesson. I can't, I can't argue with that. So we got Yuko, Fuka, Chihiro. Chihiro's good to go. So sadly, we do have to talk <laughs> to at least one of them that, you know, we spoke with during the school fest. Let's see. Yeah, we have Pixie. Okay, just make sure. Yuki-kun. I was thinking of dropping by Polonia Mall. You want to join me? Yeah, let's go. Thanks. Now that's not haunted. Was there anywhere you wanted to stop by? Make us some tea first, then go shopping after. That sounds lovely. I would love that. Let's see. I'd like to stop by the drugstore before we head home. Do you mind? It'll just be a little longer. Not at all. Hang on, I've got a phone call. Oh. Hello? Yeah? What? So, get to the point already. Huh? That's not funny! What? How do you think that would make Dad feel? Fine. Do whatever you want. Just don't call me again. <sighs> Sorry. Mm. Are you okay? You want to talk about it? You don't have to. No strings attached. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You know who I was on the phone with, right? Yeah, it was my mom. She says she wants to get remarried. I don't really care if she wants to get married again. What I can't stand is how she chose to live her life. Running away from things, jumping from guy to guy. I don't think that's fair to my dad. Hmm. I don't know what I would say in this situation. My instinct is to say, well, like, well, it is her life. At the same time, though, is she taking care of you? Is she checking on you? I don't know if that's established here. I quietly stood by her until she calmed down. That's sometimes the right play. Just, you know, chill. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay now. Really, thanks. I'll never be like her. I'll never give up standing on my own two feet. Running away from your problems by clinging on to others is the worst thing you can do. I've decided I'll make it through on my own. I'll show her that I can be happy that way. Kari has shared her innermost feelings that she doesn't want to walk in the footsteps of her mother and live an independent life. That is fulfilling. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but is that 
really what you want or you just not want to be like your mom? Huh. Thanks for listening. Yeah, no problem. Sorry I was like, you know, being a psychologist over here trying to dissect your life and all. For some reason, I feel like I can tell you anything. Let's head back now. I'll do the rest of my shopping some other day. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's getting late anyway. Friggin' God, what a handful. I mean that in a good way, but like... Jesus, that's heavy. At the time, first time I ever played this, I'll be honest with you. I didn't really get it. I didn't realize what Yukari's going through. And frankly speaking, I was playing games that had a squeaky clean image for most of their heroines. And, they, you know, they're, they're, as far as RPGs go, right? Well, looking back on it, dang, that's something heavy for a game with this kind of target audience. I don't care what nobody says about Persona. That's, that takes some huevos. Uh. Hello. Mm, what we got today? Oh, uh, so hang out with... Ooh, Junpei. Yo, man. It's rare to catch you out. What up? Taking care of the planners? Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm trying to cut down. So can we... Yeah, let's get... Let's see. <laughs> see, let's not get it. The only vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies? Only people like Carijo Senpai would eat? Like... Rutabagas? If we could grow something like that... We'd make a fortune, don't you think? Well... It's not so easy or everybody would do it. Depends on how hard we try. Yeah, that might be a full-time job, you know? Like, producing? Selling? Oh, damn! So you're up for it? No, no, no! Yeah! We gotta dream big! Stop ya! I'm just... I'm just... You're pretty good with your hands, so what do you say? Wanna join forces and make a name for ourselves? Yeah, but what are we gonna call our business? We gotta think of this stuff. Do you know how to get an LLC, Junpei? I don't. Well, we should probably get to work before we get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not let's not incorporate. Let's just you know, focus on our crop at hand. I turn the roof falls for Junpei and <laughs> mm, This is getting really rough on my back. Yeah, my hands are all caked in dirt. The extra care is paying off. All right. But for the sake of Junpei's brand name, Luxury Veggies, I gotta keep going. We gotta work on that name, though. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? Heck yeah. Sounds like Junpei's driven. And he wants some money? Why on earth would dudes want a lot of money? I can think of a reason. To afford a wedding ring, doy. Anyway, got some texts. Who is it? Freaking no thanks. I'm not being mean to her. It's just, we're not doing that today. Instead, we'll hit up a guy I haven't seen in a while. Alternatively, could, ooh. Yeah, realistically, we should do that instead. Ah. Well, a lot of people are available today. But, yeah, I'm going with my gut. We will go to the shrine, but it's to pray for Odagiri. And not hang out with the sun, bro. I'm sorry. Where's he at? There we go. I just want to see if this is how this works. Hopefully, I don't want to get robbed again. Uh, blessings to the believer. And you, s you will have bad luck. Be careful with your money. Oh, it's just 1,000. Just 1,000. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. It could be a lot better, but... Yeah, that's like almost completely random. I don't know why that's a mechanic, but oh, it is. Yo. Anybody here today? Oh, it's pretty barren for the most part. Yeah. Well, time's coming around once again. After a few more full moons, we'll have eliminated them all. It's almost disappointing. Yeah. I mean, eventually things just do come to an end. What's you eating, bro? What's going on with you? What a joke. Just one heck of a mess. Only are we fighting shadows. Now we gotta deal with Strega. Better train up while you can. It'll be too late for regrets later on. True. I mean, I think we'll be fine. Maybe. We keep boof, <laughs> boof, <laughs> boosting everybody's stats. Here, in this fashion, I think we'll be okay. Keeping up with your running pace makes for great training. I'm not trying to outrun a dog. It's not easy. Depends on a dog. When I was a kid, I found a stray dog. But we weren't allowed to have pets at the orphanage. Hmm. Wonder what happened to huh? Maybe it's because Shinji came back. But I've been thinking about the past a lot recently. Hey. 
Welcome back. Does this guy have something in his mouth? <laughs> no slice of cheese. It was. Didn't know they had stuff like this at the shop. <laughs> Maybe we should try looking for some next time. American cheese. Can you imagine that? Do you know it's plastic? You can... Anyway, <laughs> it's time we start heading back. Let's go for a run again sometime, Koromaru. Not a bad event. I'll be honest, though, I was kind of hoping to bump. What the? It's just Pharos, right? Just Pharos. Okay, okay, we're chill. <sighs> Good evening. You never know. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this. But there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens. But you can never be sure what the future holds. Be careful out there, okay? Remember, I'm always looking out for you. We'll meet again. Unironically, thanks for the reminder. Only a week? Breaking my heart. I was having fun in school again for once. Well, oh, winter exam's coming up. I just thought of that. Someone in my neighborhood actually has the symptoms. Yeah, exactly. There are a few in mine, too. I'm scared. They said on TV that it's not contagious, but I feel like it's a sign of the end of the world. Ah. Don't joke like that. The end of the world, there's no way. Right? Uh. Ooh. All right, let's just do our best, right? Get back in the tower. We already covered how any number divided by zero is undefined, right? Ah, oh, we didn't. Or is that the other class? Well, either way, I just told you, so let's move on. <laughs> All right, got, we can write that down. For the sixth one, the number answer is eight. Oh, don't think eight is such a darling number. Are you a numerologist too, Miss Miyahara? I want this person says nine, little curly tail, but oh, the two. Not people appreciate two. It's, it's so awesome. Our number's just downright adorable. Maybe. In their own special way. Stay up, I guess. But then, on the other hand, things like square root sign and the sigma have such more refined views of them. Pair them together with numbers and you can express anything in the world. Hearts, minds, emotions. Everything boils down to synapses firing in the brain. Which means they can express numbers. Not many things these cute little digits can do. True. God dang. Friggin. Ugh. Ugh! Oh, whoa! Whoa! That got me. That woke me up. We did it! We did it way ahead of schedule! Let's go! So, this is. I mean, this is just the biggest deal for me. Like, as far as the project goes. Everything maxed. Just like that. Beautiful. Which means we could potentially start a new social link. I, when I was like, when I was like counting the other episode, I was like, hmm. Yep, that's all of them. Freaking, dude, I cannot count. I should be paying attention in math class. But what are you gonna do? It's almost full again. We should prepare. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, she doing good. This, this social link, man. It takes me back. It genuinely does. You heading home? I was thinking of swinging by the strip mall. Yeah, we never did get those medicines. Where's that ibuprofen at? I'm not really in the mood for ramen. Hmm. What else can we get to eat? Crepes. Do I have those here? Mm, I don't know about the net cafe. Why don't we go someplace else? Wait, let me see how much money I have. Oh no! Where's my wallet? Did I drop it? But when? I had it when I pulled out my train pass. Wait, someone bumped into me outside the station. Sorry, I'm gonna go back there and look around. It'll just take a minute. Make sure you wait right here, okay? I'll be fine, but, so don't come after me. But why don't we go together? I don't, I don't. Stay right there, you got it? What? Yukari vehemently warned me and ran off. What should I do? I don't know. Just he was told, I guess. Well, this is effing boring. Doesn't seem like she's coming back. Let's look after her. I know we're disobeying orders, but come on. Oh god. What'd you say? You better shut your mouth, bitch! <laughs> if you don't behave, you'll lose more than just your wallet. Hmm. What's 
going on? Hey, did I, I tell you to wait back there? Hey, yo, what? Come on, you're taking forever. Huh? Who the hell are you? Her friend. Oh man, what did we pick? What did we pick here? Oh, we'll go with this. We've got no business with a measly buddy. If you don't want to get hurt, then get lost. The hell? You're asking for a beatdown! Uh, Thanks. <laughs> it really just ended like that. You killed all three of them and like, you didn't even take a hit. That's crazy. How did you do that? She seems appreciative. It seems like we're getting closer. Heck yeah. I'm sure if I picked the right option there, though. I mean, we are friends. Saying otherwise, I don't... I just, <sighs> that was a little... intense, though. You didn't have to beat them up so badly. I know. He won a, th a 1v3. It's all those stairs and... It's all those stairs and tartars, bro. I promise. His cardio is insane. Hey, why'd you come after me? Didn't I say to wait? Did you think I needed saving? You were taking. I got bored. Mm. Here's my favorite social link moment. I'm not helpless, you know. I absolutely know that. Nobody said that. Nobody, literally. No I got my wallet back by myself. Hey, yes, you did. Yes, you did, Queen. I didn't need your help. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh. Mm, I wish I didn't pick that now. Don't apologize. I should be the one oh, saying go. sorry. <laughs> and thank you. I thought she was snickering like, yeah, you're right. No, she she came around. Thank God. I'll just go on ahead. I'm all right now. Sorry again. Will we ever get to shop together? Like just something always is getting in the way. It's breaking my heart. See you. Bye, Yukari. It's all right. That's an unfortunate situation nobody wants to be in. Obviously, she's not going to handle it with perfect grace. But can we just... Freaking... Can we just go to Baskin Robbins or something? And just, like, go straight there. No divergence. Phones vibrate. You know, freak. Just one more week. Yep. Honestly, looking forward to it. Leader. The operation will begin on October 4th. We are well staffed to fight this time as well. Let us make certain we are fully prepared. True. Oops. Gotta definitely get some levels on me. Third years are really amazing. Even though we're coming up on our final battle with the shadows, they don't look nervous at all. Maybe they're just trying to be considerate and hiding their nerve. That just makes them even more reliable. She's fangirling. Hmm. Three shadows. I can't get used to it by now, but as the days get closer, I still get nervous. Understandable. You also had probably the worst day ever. Um, I can't imagine. Our next operation will be October 4th. Let's do our best. For sure. All right, so. Decisions, decisions. I'm going to save scum yet again because I'm a jerk. Just to see if there's new dialogue. There was not. So now we know there is a finite level. Oh, right. Like once you get the second personality skill, that's, that's the end of it. If you had a time, would you care for some tea? Yeah, I would. Thank you. Wonderful. I'll start the preparation. It feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? Yeah. Yeah, I just... I can't help but think us wearing aprons, though, for serving tea is a bit silly. It's a bit, t I'm a bit tense. I'll be honest, I should say that. You know, I had to beat up three dudes today. I'm trying to relax. Can we, give me another cup, you can. Sorry about that. Try to relax if you can. Then again, if it were that easy, it wouldn't be a problem, would it? Yeah. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approve. Who's saying that? Who's saying that to you? Uh, I don't think that's fair. We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to. They're a little far away, hun. Actually, <laughs> why don't you stalk them yourself? Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. 
I drank herbal tea with Mitsuru and discussed our favorite snacks. All right, I think that's enough for oh, now. We should start cleaning up. I wonder if we'll be able to plant crops with her. You know? I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. Yeah, for sure. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. What do you think is her favorite snack? Probably deep chocolate. You know, deep, dark chocolate. Me? Lately, popcorn, bro. That crap fills you up. One bag, you're like, I can't even remove. But it's only like 200 calories. Freaking OP. The culture festival kind of sucks, don't you think? I mean, there's always that one person who gets gung-ho and makes everyone else get involved. By the way, that person is not me. I kind of figured in different student. Wait, what? Why is the card above him? If we maxed it out. Curious. Though, discovering that would be wasting time. After all, there's so many other people to spend time with. And from a meta standpoint, right? Like, we know exams are coming up eventually. It would prioritize. It, it makes sense to prioritize our actual like, club oh, hello, social links. Greetings, Makoto Dono. I humbly request you join me in the fashion club. I could do that. We could do some of that. Off we go then, to the home economics room. Your skills continue to flourish, but I shall not be outdone. Uh, oh. It is hopeless. Uh, I cannot focus. What happened to that fervor? You were, you were ready to get it done, you know? I have barely seen anything at all. Wow. What's wrong? It's gotta be something. I just keep thinking about my uncle. How can I convince him to let me stay here? Maybe if I became a samurai, I, I could stand up to him. You could, you could do that without, you know, joining archery. Oh. <laughs> Maybe if we go have ourselves a sweet snack, I can come up with a plan. Will you go to Azuki High with moi? You know what? Let's let's do it. I don't see a reason not to. Then to Azuki High we go. But we, you know, we maybe we should get the cheap things. You know, I'm just saying. How, how are your phones looking? I have thought about this even in my dreams. If I return to my own country now, I would never forgive myself. I want to stay here in Japan, even if I have to eat dirt. No. You could just get a part-time job. I mean, you know, really. Okay, it's not. I'm gonna pay for everything, but. I got your back. Yeah, you know, whatever. I can share some meals. It means so well to know you are here for me. Oh gosh. Jitsuwa. Actually, I have come up with a plan. All of a sudden? Wait. I will return to my own country. Okay, then. Put you on. But of course, I will not give up just like that. Once I persuade my uncle. I will return. Well, there you go. That's a compromise. That's what I want to hear. All right. I will show him that this is a wonderful country. All I need to do is figure out how to explain it to him. And with you at my side, I know I will find a way. Please, I can't do it without you. Onegaishimasu. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. But all right. I mean, he's going to get to see his uncle while he's, you know, grieving. And then we can talk about it. I think that's a mature way to go about it. The day is coming to an end. We will pick this up next time. Peace out. Well, it's good to see he's kind of, I don't know. We, I am sorry, baby. We left you, kind of left you in limbo for like two months there. It wasn't my fault. It was summer vacation, but it does seem like he's rebounding a little bit. Not bad. Welcome back. How was your day? Yuki-kun, have you been able to figure out why the machine in the command room is malfunctioning? Kurisha Senpai asked me to take a look at it, but I can't figure it out. Seems to break once a month around... Oh, don't worry. It doesn't affect our mission or anything. Around what? Around... <sighs> What's up with that? I don't know. Check it out next episode. Head to Tartarus and do our thing. Thank you all so much for checking out today's episode. And yeah, next time, we're back in the tower. See you then. Bye.